Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and I love testing out affordable drugstore makeup that you can get your hands on here in Australia and I also really love Kmart. So today's video kind of combines the two because I will be testing out the OXX Makeup Brush Cleaner. Now this kind of device has been around for a while. I think, like I could be completely wrong here, but I think the first one was by Style Pro. I had a look online and they retail for $150. That's pretty expensive. Now I always wash my brushes the old fashioned way, a bit of soap, rub it around in your hand, it is what it is. But when I saw Kmart had this and for only $15, you know I had to give it a try. I have got a bunch of dirty brushes here, so let's get straight into it and see if it's actually good. So in the box, you've got your bowl. You've got the brush spinner. We've got eight different size brush colors is what they're called, and they are like a rubber material. I think this goes over the end of your brush. You've also got a collar stand and what they're calling spindles. Also, it does take batteries. So we've got two triple A's. Oh, it works. Sounds like something else if you ask me. <laughs> so I am going to just use a Kmart brush in case this doesn't work out well. And if I ruin a brush, it's okay that it was only $10 and not 30. <laughs> All right, so I've put some water into the bowl. I'm just sliding that into this collar here. Then you want to insert this little thing into the top and then into this. <laughs> it's quite a contraption. <laughs> <Ooh! laughs> oh God, this is going to be fine. <laughs> okay, so next it says to put some of your preferred liquid soap or makeup brush cleaner into the bowl. So I just like to use this baby shampoo. So let me just put one pump into there. All right, so now it's time to clean. It says to dip the brush into the water first, just get it a little bit wet, and then switch on the device to clean. I'm actually really scared. I feel like it's gonna go spaz. Okay, let's do this. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> come off. Oh, okay, I didn't have it in all the way. That's why it come off. All right, let's try again. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's actually quite dry. I forgot to look at how dirty the brush was at first. So let's just take a look at this now. So you can see there's still a bit of foundation. So let's pop it back in. Let's go for another spin. It still looks the same. Foundation is harder to get out of brushes though. So let's swap this and try a different one. All right, so I've got this eyeshadow brush here. It is by Sigma. <laughs> so I hope this doesn't ruin it. <laughs> okay, it still looks just as dirty. It dries it pretty well though. Like it doesn't come out soaking wet and the shape is still there. Okay, what I'm going to do is just pop a bit of water on the back of my hand and a little bit of soap. There's a lot of construction going on outside. So apologies for the noise. I'm going to pre dip the brush into the soapy water. And like, look, the color's already coming off. It's still dirty. Like, it doesn't look like anything has changed. Let's try this bronzer brush here. Now, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. And when I do clean this, it's not like bright white, but it looks better than this. Mm looks a little bit cleaner on this side, but it's still pretty dirty. I don't know guys, I think this is a bit of a dud. Like the watercolor has changed a little bit, but it's not giving me the results I thought I would get. All right, well, I think that this is a bit of a fail. It's just not cleaning the brushes how I thought it would. Like it's got some power. This little thing has some power but it's just not cleaning them. Right, let me just try one more, one more, okay? This is a powder brush. I use this for under my eyes. 
I'm going to do what I did before and just kind of wet it first, add a little bit of soap. I'm also going to put a little bit more liquid into the water. Maybe that's the problem. I really want it to work, like for $15. God, look what it <laughs> did. Okay, let's reshape it. Yeah, like it's a little bit cleaner, but it needs some more work. I'm calling it there. I don't think you should spend your money on this. It's just easier to use your hand and a bit of soap. Kmart also sells quite a variety of different like cleansing mats or like little handheld brush cleansing silicon things. I'll link a few of those in the description box. I actually use like this little egg shaped one that I got from eBay years and years ago and that does the job perfectly. So I would say just stick to that. Don't waste your money on this brush cleaner. It seems really cool, but I think it's a bit of a gimmick. If you've used it or if you have any tips for me, please let me know because like it's fun, but I'm just not getting the results I want. So if you have any recommendations, tips, tricks, whatever, leave me a comment down below. That is all from me for today's video. If you want to see some more Kmart related content, I can link some below. I'll even pop them on the screen right now. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. All right, well, I hope you all have a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.